What is up, everybody, and welcome to a New Year's Eve edition of The Squeeze. I am your host, Tyler Conium. We've got a little theme going, a little bit of a, could you say a hot streak? Maybe, but another two and one night last night. Toronto Raptors covered. It got a little dicey there for a while against Phoenix, but the Toronto Raptors covered. Uh, Devils and Pittsburgh, that did go under. The final was 4-2. to two. That was also dicey. It was one nothing after the first period. And then New Jersey scored three. Pittsburgh scored one in the second. So there were four goals there. But we did hit the under. Uh, unfortunately, the one we did not hit was Philadelphia. New Orleans won by nine. That was a great basketball game. So I believe New Orleans is playing uh, Memphis tonight. So it could be the first matchup of John Morant versus Zion Williamson, which would be very exciting. But another two and one night. So on the week, we are now six and three and up 2.76 units. So we're closing out the year really, really well. Um, as mentioned before, this podcast is available, or this video is available as an audio-only podcast on Spotify and Apple. Links for that will be in the description of the video. Uh, moving forward in the future, not tomorrow because it's New Year's Day. I'm not 100% sure if there will be a video or not. I do plan to. We're not. We don't. We're not party family, so it won't be for uh, lack of sleep or anything like that. But I'm just not 100% sure what I want to do with tomorrow, just because it's my last day of holidays and all that sort of thing. But moving forward into the future, Sundays will be a live show starting at around 10 a.m. Eastern, and it'll be about a half an hour long, but we'll do this video version as a live show, and I will have bets the same way I talk about the bets then, but we'll be a little bit more interactive, hopefully, if people want to come on and talk, if people want to be in the chat, um, but we can discuss all kinds of things, too, so not necessarily just the three bets of the day, but what's going on in the sports world, what's going on in sports betting specifically, whether it's Ontario or Canada also specifically, so should be fun, but we're going to close out 2022 on a high note, I think, uh, and I'm very excited. We have three bets today, but it's technically, it's it's interesting. There's three bets, but it involves three games, but one of them is the same game and one of them is parlay. So <laughs> let me explain why I'm wearing the Leafs jersey, first of all. We'll go to the National Hockey League first and foremost. The Toronto Maple Leafs are playing the Colorado Avalanche. These lines have changed a little bit. I did put this on my Twitter last night because I saw these lines and, saw, and thought these are going to change for sure. So I posted them. So I'm just going to talk about what I got them at, but... They have since changed. So the first one is the Leafs. Again, Leafs are at the Avalanche. Toronto is 22-8-6. Colorado is 19-12-1. On the road to the Leafs have been 9-6-3. And, and at home, Colorado is 9-5-1. So interesting that Colorado is actually a better road team than they are a home team. And the Toronto Maple Leafs are a pretty decent road team as well. So what am I going to do here? I'm taking the Toronto Maple Leafs on the money line. Now, when I made this bet, it was minus 114 at North Star. It's since gone to minus 119. So the Leafs are the favorite. They're 8-1 in their last nine against the Western Conference. They're seven and one in their last eight games following uh, a game where they've allowed five or more goals, which they did last time out. So they have rebounded off losses pretty well. And they're also five and one in their last six games following a loss of three or more goals. When you look at Colorado, they've been playing a lot of under games, which we'll get into in a minute as well. So when again, when there's under games, my strategy, when, you, when there's a lot of under games, I like the road team a lot because it's going to be a close game. Now, when they've gone head to head, the favorite, which is Toronto in this one, is four and one in their last five meetings. And the road team, which is Toronto in this one, is eight and three in their last 11. And then just uh, again, on the road in Colorado, Toronto is seven and three in the last 10. So Toronto is playing really, really well. Yeah, they lost six three to Arizona last time out, which was a you know, a brutal game, but they'd won three straight before that. Colorado is currently on a two game losing streak. They lost to the Kings in the shootout and they lost ironically to Arizona as well, six to three. So I think Toronto's gonna get right in this one. It's a big game. It's a New Year's Eve game. Um, you know, Colorado's without Nate McKinnon, obviously, so there's some offensive challenges for the Avalanche there. But I do think Toronto can get this game, so I'm gonna take them on the money line. I got it at minus one fourteen, shop around. It looks like at North Star it's minus one nineteen but you might be able to get it for a good price elsewhere. And sticking with this same game is the under. So last night, I bet the under 6.5 at plus 104, plus money. It's now at minus 114. So we already have closing line value of 4.2%. We'll see what happens there. But on the season... I don't know how this got to six and a half and not six. Uh, Toronto is 21 and 14 to the under. Colorado is 21 and 12 to the under. These are two 
under teams, okay? And then Toronto um, is under, the under is 7-1 and one in the Maple Leafs last eight when their opponent has allowed five or more goals in their previous game, which is a fun statistic. And then you look at Colorado, and this is sort of the, was the deciding factor. Under is 5-0 and oh in their last five Saturday games, 3-0 and oh in their last three games versus the Atlantic, 6-0 and oh in their last... Uh, sorry, 6 0 1 in their last seven versus a team with a winning percentage above 60. The under is 8 and 1 in the Avs' last nine home games. You know, so they're just, it's just under, 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 under. And I look for that trend to continue. You've got Samsonov uh, in net for Toronto tonight. You've got Georgiev, apologies on the name there, um, for Colorado. Both, you know, under goals against under 2.5, safe percentages above 92. I think, again, on a big game, same thing I predicted last night for Jersey and Pittsburgh. This is a big game for both teams. So I'm going to predict that this game does go under. Let's have a look. The last few times these teams have played, the last time they played was January 8th of this year, so almost a year ago. That did go over, uh, and the time before that it went over, but then you're looking at under, 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 over, under. So it kind of goes back and forth, but just the way these two teams are playing, I look for an under score tonight. So Toronto and Colorado under six and a half and for the Leafs to win. You can also parlay that if you wanted, but I have those split up. And the uh, last bet is a two-leg teaser parlay for the college bowl games. The first one we're going to talk about, so the two teams I have that I like, Michigan, which is my favorite team, and you've got Alabama. So when you look at the spreads right now, currently the Crimson Tide are seven-point favorites and the Wolverines are seven-and-a-half-point favorites. That line just changed. The spreads scare me not so much for Michigan. I do think TCU is a good football team, but I'm a little bit more worried about Alabama because their offense hasn't, or sorry, their defense hasn't been very good this season. So what I like to do here is I'm going to do a teaser and bring both of these down to minus two and a half for Michigan and minus two and a half for Alabama. So for each of these teams to win by a field goal gets you to minus 105 at FanDuel, which I really, really like. So on the season, Alabama was 10 and two. Kansas State was 10 and three. Um, Have they played head to head? No. Um, And I just think that Alabama, they're going to have to get it right, right? They've kind of struggled a little bit this season, especially with their defense. I think Kansas State's probably going to put up some points here, but I think Alabama still wins this football game, and especially being played at a neutral site. So if they win, I think winning by a field goal is pretty predictable. And then I think Michigan's actually going to probably win pretty handily against TCU. Michigan's 13-0 on this season. It's being predicted that they're going to meet either Georgia or Ohio State in the college football championship, which should be a massive game, especially after they beat Ohio State uh, just a few weeks ago. So I'm expecting Michigan to win this game. It's, there's not even really much point in picking it on the money line. If you did want to do a money line bet, actually like Michigan combining with Georgia. I think they win the game against Ohio State, but either way, you were in for some great football today. And I just didn't want to get I didn't want to get too cute. I didn't want to get too, you know, it's the last day of the year. We've been on a good little roll here. Getting getting it to essentially pick 'em, I think is really, really nice. Essentially even money. So we're gonna just bring it down. Michigan minus two and a half, Alabama minus two and a half for a minus one oh five parlay at FanDuel. And again, we're combining that with the Toronto Maple Leafs on the money line, the Colorado Avalanche, and the Leafs to go under six and a half. Uh, feel free to drop a comment if you're fading or following as always you can follow me on twitter uh, for more picks and props throughout the day and let's end this year on a great great streak and start a new year with a bang it's talk sports